Yo, what's going on guys? This is Snavia, and today we are doing an Apex Legends Season 20 tier list. We've got myself and fake Jordan here. Jordan, would you like to say hi? Hello, hello. Hello, hello. We're back again. So last time we did the upgrades. This time we are just going to genuinely do every single legend um, from, well, alphabetical order by the looks of it. So um, are you ready for it, Jordan? Yeah, man. I'm excited. Okay, let's, let's get straight into it. So first off, we've got the lovely Ash. So... <laughs> We're going to be quite brutal today, people, so please bear with us, you know, when we do put someone a little bit low and someone a bit high. Um, Ash... I don't she... think she makes top half of the board. No, I don't either. I'm already starting to gaze upon D and E because yeah. I just... I look to E, so I... that could be a... She just doesn't bring a lot to the field. She's very... There's nothing that she does that someone else doesn't do better. Yeah, yeah, that's it really, isn't it? And then, um, although the upgrades are made her a little bit better, that they're not game breaking. No, you know, not at all. she might be more fun to play now, which I definitely agree on. But yeah. would I want to use her in ranked? Yeah, that's no. it. Like, she's mm -hmm. a lot of fun, but she's not like if I'm gonna for a, a high kill game, not who I'm mm. looking for. No, no, no. And she's quite quite a big hitbox, really. It's quite a lanky legend for sort of i feel like if she was a bit shorter it might be a little bit better for her really yeah like a wraith hitbox she might be uh, yeah so shall we i think maybe an e with potential adjustments e, if we, uh, e, yeah. as we go yeah i think i think we'll set the bar there and we'll see how we get on and if we think oh maybe we've done a dirty we'll we'll change her up uh next up we got ballistic so i once again don't feel like ballistic is that good no, I, I'd agree. I'd say personally for me, ballistics are very mid mid of the range, so sort of C D for me. Um Yeah, I'm looking at maybe more D. I feel like he's very much he's almost very he's a very solo player, isn't he? Like I get the ultimate does get everyone a bit more aggressive than that, but I just don't feel like you you never see him in ranked anyway. No. Nope. You're never gonna see him in comp. No, he's got the lowest pick, right? No, yeah. So realistically and then, I mean, I suppose you would say he's a, probably a fun legend to play if we put that into aspect of things. Yeah, I but... think he's got more versatility than actually the sense of, like, controlling space because, like, you can block off doors and stuff by shooting his dart on the floor, his smart bullet on the floor, which is more useful. Um, and also you can isolate people. So, like, if you're in a 2v1, taking mm. one of them out is a lot more useful than actually snare, say, for example. Um, but, I, I, yeah, I don't see him pushing him to the top end. Mm. Just want to hope Ro doesn't kill us for this. <laughs> oh. I'd I'd go deep. I, I, I think I, I don't I, think she's on the same level. He's on the same level as Ash. I think he's better than Ash. I just don't think by much. <laughs> no, no, I don't, I don't think so either. Okay, all right, we're gonna stick with that for now. Next up, we got Bangalore. Now, even though she has just been nerfed, I still think she's S tier personally. Yeah. I don't think you like. Even though, they, if anything, they've just made her like a little bit less overpowered. Yeah, yeah. The only thing that they really matters is the fact that her she doesn't live ping anymore in her mm. um, her upgrade. But it's still a yeah. solid upgrade. It's, oh, it's no, just a better version of um like wraiths with being targeted. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I I think yeah, she's she's I always got to be up there. I mean, there's not many teams that won't run a Bangalore. She's just too good. And the fact she breaks control aim assist will always be a game game changer for for a lot of players. Yeah, yeah, no, definitely. Okay, next up we got Bloodhound. Bloodhound, Bloodhound, Bloodhound. I just feel like Bloodhound in my eyes, he's, he's definitely top two. Personally, I go for S. Um, mm, I'm really leaning towards S more than A. I don't know if he'd be an S if Bang wasn't an S. Yeah. If, but I if, think yeah. in a meta that thrives around a Bangalore, I think... Bloodhound's also nine nine times out of ten essential. Yeah, and lacking obviously the as much digis, it's mm -hmm. definitely played more into yeah. Bloodhound's part. Um, definitely this season. And I just feel like, yeah, the, the upgrades have just made Bloodhound so good. Yeah. yeah. I just don't think you cannot put blood yeah. in S. Like it, those two together are just disgusting. And we we all know it. Yeah, um, I think a big advantage yeah. for him as well is like although his ult's very aggressive. It can also be used to make a defensive push um, and just generate information as a whole. Mm, so he's not yeah. just a complete one trick like Fragger. No, 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 definitely not. But yeah, I think I think that's fair place. I think that's his best spot. 
Um, next up, we got Catalyst. Ooh. So a lot of people thought Catalyst was going to come back into more meta. I don't think she has, though, has no. she? No. She, she, like, there was a lot of talk about it. Like I know Timmy was playing them, and they, like, they were thinking, oh, yeah, Catalyst will eventually. But she hasn't, has she? She's her not... ult's taken to be a hit. Yeah. And, um, that... and obviously the changes with her. So obviously with it used to be on the spikes, you had, if you were in line of sight of the spikes, you could shoot it. Mm, yeah. Whereas now that's not so necessary. No. I just think she's she's lost a lot of her use. It was a shame because she's very fun. And I I do think she's still a, a solid legend. I yeah. just think she's not as essential as she once was. No. And I think even though the upgrades where she has now got the ability to like lock up three doors and all that uh, with the spikes potentially and all that, you know, I just feel like Caustic just beats yeah. her by a mile. Like yeah. absolute mile. There's no reason to pick her over... She, did, she hasn't got that aggression side of things like Gorsuch's got as well because no. Gorsuch's ult can be used super aggressively as long as it yeah. things. Where she doesn't really have that. No. But she's great for the repositioning side of things, but she's even lost some of that now. So I just think she uh, she's fallen off a bit, bless her. I'm looking at C. I wouldn't be mad for C. I, I feel like I feel like she used to be probably like an A, and now with those changes, she's looking more like a C. Um, next up, we got Caustic. I feel like I pretty much sold it a second ago. Caustic, I don't understand why he got buffed. Like, <laughs> yeah, I don't think Caustic was bad before. I just don't no. think many people enjoyed his playstyle. Yeah, I, I just didn't understand it. You know, say as soon as the event came around, I was think I looked at the patch notes and I was reading it. And to my knowledge, I was there like, yeah, they've made the the gas a little bit less. No, they've made it fucking better. Yeah, 20, 20 <laughs> times the size. <laughs> like, I just didn't get it. So I was just like, like, don't get me wrong, you know. I mean, but he, I just feel like he was good enough before. So, yeah. so I feel like for that reason, he he has to be S. Yeah, I think I think the only way you can make an argument for him to maybe go down to A is the size of his hitbox. True, yes. Because he's a big boy. Um, and if you're not... Like, mm. So if you get caught in the open, it's difficult. Um, mm. But then generally, like, the, how well he like controls a room or takes a room is, yeah it's so good so yeah I, I wouldn't be mad with either of those no yeah i think i think we're definitely fair with that next up we've got conduit now conduit took a hit obviously the the patch notes but yep. one, not very noticeable one again she's um, still a nuisance <laughs> yeah she, I, so i think the biggest notice obviously is if you hit the person that she's shielding now that's more noticeable mm. that it doesn't like just heal through it like it doesn't matter yeah but the, the the amount that she heals, just like it makes a reset so free. Mm, yes, definitely, and I'm definitely still seeing Conduit and Revenant getting paired together. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah they, they they came out saying like, yeah, we're trying to make sure that not no, you ain't done enough because no. they still fucking love each other. <laughs> I think <laughs> I genuinely think Conduit's probably the strongest support in the game right now. Hmm. Well, I don't know whether if you think about like a comp scene, whether she's in that mix. Whereas, um, like, you know what I mean? I feel yeah. like you look at the top three at the moment and you think, yeah, all those ones going to be in the comp. Whereas Conduit, I feel like she's a must-have in a ranked team. But a lot of the time, I remember how coming out and saying, like, Conduit's not even that good, you know? Yeah, just... see, Conduit's not a, a game-breaker for the, the higher-end ranks. Um, there are a lot mm. of things you can do to shut her down. She's definitely one of those people that when you play her against lower ranks or like lower skill players yeah it's near and impossible to deal with um, yeah. but as as she does kind of i say fall off but she's less effective as you progress up the ranks for sure definitely um, yeah I'm and in, in comp maybe. you do see her there um mm. obviously just, just the straight being able to craft as a support is, is super helpful and she's quite an aggressive support um mm -hmm. which yeah, is yeah, nice definitely. yeah um but yeah i don't she's not what she was and she like like i said she does fall off as you go up through the tiers i think in a yeah, A, I'd be happy with her. I think A, I think A, just because, say, like we said, she's going to be, she used so much in fucking ranked, so much, like, yeah. non-stop. <laughs> Every team seems to have a conduit. Um, but I just feel like with that split off, like, ranked-wise and comp, comp, that she just doesn't quite make the match, that's all. Yeah, That's oh, the I agree. only argument I get. Um, next up, we're going with Crypto. Now, what do we think of Crypto? I'm not a massive Crypto fan, I can't lie. But... I know he is a lot better this season. I, he... So like I was saying to you earlier, with the fact there are some legends I think are held back just because of how difficult they can be to play. Mm. I think a high-skilled crypto is 
very, very good. Yeah. But he's not a legend anyone can pick up and play. No, he's no. He's got such a steep learning curve. I think it's it's almost like you, you, you're making it harder for yourself by playing him simply because of how hard he can be to play well. But if mm-hmm. you can get it down, he's phenomenal. Yeah. So for me, I don't think he sits much higher than mid. No. I'm maybe leaning more towards C. Yeah, C. I'm, I'd be happy with C for sure. C for crypto, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Catalyst as well, that's it. We're just yeah, doing that. Oh, we'll make it. Yeah, we're making a female. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I just, I think, I think, like you say, you, the learning skill for crypto is difficult, but yeah, it's just, um, no, it's not someone that I see very often, uh, but like we say always, you know, a, a good crypto is a great one, but yeah. you know, it's just not not something that I see enough of for me to be like, yeah, he's groundbreaking. He needs no. to be in the top section. No. Um, next up, we got Fusey. So a Fuse, Fuse is a lot of fun to play. Oh yeah, for a sure. Massive nuisance, poke fucking king. I swear. <laughs> like, and that's non-stop. been made super good with the the shield changes. Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Yes. But beyond being a lot of fun and, and good for farming shield, I I don't like him <laughs> personally. Yeah. Um, I think the problem is like you have to carry so many grenades and stuff to be doing some of the stuff that you need to do with him. You mm-hmm. you'll always end up sacrificing other things. Yeah. It's very much based on like if you go for a game without finding many grenades or being in a position where you're quite out in the open, it can be really difficult to to get a full usage from. Mhm. Yeah, yeah. So he's very situational. He's very situational, yes. So once again, I don't think you see him very often in comp. Nope. There used to be a time where he used to get played quite a lot. I remember yeah. back when we were UTFT and we used to play with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I remember thinking, "Fucking hell, the boys he racking out fuse." But um, yeah. now, so... definitely, definitely not. Um, for potentially D. I looked at D, um, and then I compared him to Ballistic, and I think he just does what Ballistic does, but better. Hmm. Because a lot of like, what put to, to D for me was controlling the area. Mm, yeah, I think I would actually yeah go a little bit higher because yeah. I don't think because if I was to compare the two, I'd be there like nah fuse yeah. every time. I'm definitely more excited with a fuse teammate than I am a ballistic teammate. Yeah, I think I think I think C. Yeah, yeah. let's do that. Let's do that. Uh, next up, we got Gibby Jabrota. So Gibby with the upgrade system has had a nice buff really. Like yeah. he, he feels good. It's just that big hitbox of his that lets him down really. Yep. And that's more of the issue, isn't it? Um fun legend to play though, especially if you're happy with it. I personally not a fan of him just because I can't get on with the hitbox at all. But yeah. um, he go for it. I, I think he's stronger on MK as well than he's a controller. Bubble mm-hmm. fighting so much easier on, on mouse and keyboard than controller. Um Yeah. And to reference someone that we both know, well, Orange, for example, plays him phenomenally well on controller. Yeah. Um, but also, Orange moves incredibly well, which I think negates some of his hitbox problems. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, you almost need to have movement to play, yeah, yeah. don't you? Yeah. And you need to be confident as well, because like mm. with, when you drop that bubble, you're either trying to be able to just sit back and wait, or they run at you. Yeah. And if you're not prepared for to run at you, they, it, it's problematic. Yeah. Um, I do, I do think his ult, Pulls him up a lot as well, though. Um, mm-hmm. I'd um, personally sit him towards B. Potentially. Yes, I'm, I'm staring at B right now. I'm thinking, good support legend to have. Yeah. Good, good say, upgrades. Good um, ulti and all that. So get out yourself out of situations and whatnot. It's just the hitbox that lets him yeah. down, really. Big That's all boy. it really is. Um, moving forward, we're going into Horizon now. Although we were harsh to her in the upgrade video, we did mention that she is still a fucking great legend. Yeah, yeah, for sure. It wasn't so, that her upgrades made her bad. It's just that her upgrades weren't as good as everyone else's. I think it's just made everyone else more viable, not that it's made her worse. No, yeah, exactly. And I feel like, yeah, you definitely... like She's just so good movement-wise. and yep. any It doesn't matter with your controller or M and K. Either way, you can have a fucking great time as Horizon. Yep. The Q's great. Ultimate's great. I don't, I don't know another legend that can Q out of literally every single person's ult. Mm, yeah. Like it and just matter. literally just pop a bat, off you yeah. go again. <laughs> it, it's, <laughs> it's done. That's it. 
So I think for that reason, she's still got to be S, isn't she? Yeah, 100%. So there's no so she's, no real so reason. Mm. There's no real reason to really be brutal to her, let's say. She might have got nerfed, but then the upgrades bring her back to where she was, where she was fucking great, so. Yeah, yeah, she's just, yeah. Uh, I, I just don't think she's that standout or she's like super dominant anymore. She's just, just mm. very good. Yeah. Uh, next up, we got Lifeline. So in the upgrade video, again, we were very positive on Lifeline. Yeah. Um, obviously, they now have changed that, so we're not seeing the Kraber <laughs> now like we used to. Um, but do we think that's made her, you know, obviously that change? You think where do you reckon she sits at the moment? I'd be tempted somewhere between A and B. Um, I mm -hmm. think arguments could be made for both. Yeah. Depending on the player. So I think she's still a phenomenal legend if you're quite a clutch player. Mm -hmm. um, so I th is it... Aurora that are playing her currently in court. Well, Aurora, are, I don't. I obviously the change has happened, so I don't know. I think they... they're still playing her because they've got yeah. her on. Um, I can't remember which one's playing them, but the one that tends to clutch a lot more. Um, and having and that, that just like holding off. Hard deck, isn't it? That's the one. Yeah, hard deck guy. Yeah, so just being able to instant res while still covering. Hmm, is really good, and the fact that you are pretty, you are guaranteed with that change a gold res. So that obviously we also we all know with Lifeline is just so good. Yeah, and I thought um, like I think it was you actually I was watching um when you were streaming where uh, I think Harley self rezzed as yeah. well and um clutched up at the end when there was just like one person just about left. Yeah. So I think she yeah, I, I think she's I don't think she's a good conduit personally, um simply because I think it takes a little bit more skill. Mm -hmm. The amount of yeah, times yeah. I've had a random that just refuses to provide me. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah, you, you got to be decent at lifeline because yeah, they if you don't res at the right places or, I mean, yeah. the new drone change is good because obviously you you've always got it. Yeah, 100%. which is a, a big thing. But um, the gates having to carry white meds nearly, nearly completely. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it does take a little bit more brains. Whereas obviously conduit, like we say, it's just Q, panic, panic, Q. Q. <laughs> yeah, Q, Q, Q. Uh, so and of course that just goes on straight away. Whereas drone just plops anywhere you put it. So. Yeah. I, I wouldn't uh, be mad with B at all. I, I think I think B. I think B, yeah. Uh, next up, we got Loba. So, bless Loba. As attractive as she is, she has dropped off. <laughs> I personally don't like Loba very much. I I think she's so good for the looting. Mm -hmm. So good. Uh, the upgrade, obviously, making her better at movement, like, obviously, go further, is really good. I would like that cue all the time, personally. Because I think that'd be a great change for her, not having to just upgrade to it. Um, but yeah, like in a rank situation, she's perfect if you're in position and you're holding. Because you know, obviously yeah, yeah, you can sure. just pop bottom up and then you're sat there for a long time, just, you know, never ending light ammo, for example, which yeah, I, yeah. Fuck it, I love. Uh, but I think she suffers from a similar problem to someone like Ballistic, though, where you said she, she kind of centers around solo play, whereas. Although the, the ult's very good for the team, like Ballistics, her Q doesn't be benefit anyone but her, really. No, yeah, it's and hard to just making get making that bigger, the amount of times I've just had a, like, we've got a knock, teammate mm. takes some damage, he just throws his, or their ult, literally, like their, their Q, the other side of the world, and I, and I lose them. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, it's, she's definitely a legend that if you've got position, you're great, but if you're moving into zone, she brings nothing to the table. Yeah. Yeah. So it kind of all depends on where the ring pulls, really. I'd probably um, put her with Ballistic, if I'm being honest with you. And oh, some oh, people oh. might not like that. <laughs> some lovers might be livid. I'll, yeah. I'll, I'll go with you on this one. I'll go with you. I think, uh, yeah, I don't think she brings enough to be... Especially, no, especially near the other not supports. with... Yeah, exactly, with how well the other supports are doing at the minute. Um, mm. Yeah, I just don't think she, she contributes as much as I'd like her to. Nah. All right, moving forward, we got Mad Maggie. So I, I really like Mad Maggie. Yeah. I really do. Um, I think she actually edges over Fusey now. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think I I think so because the drills on the upgrades are great, and mm -hmm. the ball obviously exploding as well was great. Yep. Um, and of course that can be used to obviously rotate, push teams. Um, you know. As we all know, the drill obviously counters like Gibby bubbles and things like that. It's just more better in different situations, isn't it, than a fuse? Yeah. Uh, and so as well, like got... with like the, the meta of holding down buildings so much as well at the minute. If you've got a corsic trapped in a trapping up a, a building, 
it's very difficult mm. to get your fuse in there, whereas you can just stick a Maggie drill straight into the wall yeah. um, and farm that Evo if they're going to sit in there or force them to push out. Um, mm -hmm. I think she just got a lot more versatility than someone I've used. Yeah, yeah. we had a rank game yesterday and um, literally uh, Maggie just kept shooting drills at the doorway and just made it impossible for us to get through every single <laughs> yeah. time. It was like, I'm going to push. Oh, wait, no, there's another drill. Going to push, another drill. Yeah, especially and that second It was drill. just never ending. Yeah, so she just made it so good to hold down. So I think we'll pop a B. B? B? You happy with that? Uh, yeah. Or are you looking more at A? I, I probably would have gone more more to A, but I don't know if that's, if that's just my play style, being I, I like more aggressive characters. Mm. Um, I tend to sit more towards the aggressive supports and stuff as well. Um, I think it's the Evo change for me that has really pushed her into A because she just farms Evo so well while also holding down positions so well. Um, yeah. Along with having the movement that the others don't have because obviously with her ult, given the speed boost, even if you're not using it aggressively, using it defensively to, to rotate and stuff as well, I think mm -hmm. she's a little bit more versatile than people give her credit for. Okay. I'm not okay. mad with B, but... Uh, I'll, do you know this room up there? We'll, we'll put her up there. <laughs> <Side> <laughs> Oh, it's room, it's room. Uh, let's go up to uh, Mirage now. Now, Mirage is a lot more fun again. Yeah. But he is definitely not going to be in the top two. No, no. Say I think right Mirage now. is great for clips. Um, yeah. You can do some awesome stuff with him. But, like, would I want him on my ranked team? Probably not. No, no. As much as people have been like, yeah, this season I've got, like, so many clutches from Mirage. I just feel like... You're just getting lucky. I'm, I'm sorry, I hate to say yeah. it. It's just people not using their brain and not being able to just know where someone's reviving and things yeah. like that. And the thing is with that as well is realistically, although you're getting clutches and that's good, I think there are other legends where you wouldn't have needed to because if you were playing like someone like Conduit, for example, you probably could have just won the fight. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah, like you say, or yeah, you could have like helped your teammate not get knocked, like you exactly. say, you're a Conduit or a, a Lifeline or a Gibby. Yeah. So... I feel like that he can't be anywhere near the lifeline Gib. No. Can't be B. Um, he's probably better than Loba. But you, I'm looking at C. Yeah, yeah. I, I just, you, we're gonna upset some people with that one, but I do agree. <laughs> we're always upsetting anyone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, next up, we got Newcastle. So we're on another support legend now. Um, upgrades have made him a lot better. Yeah, upgrades have. They definitely increased him. Um. I don't play Newcastle a lot. I have. But... Mm -hmm. um, I think he... Again, he's another one of those people that a good Newcastle is very good. Yeah. Whereas a bad Newcastle just ults into the weirdest positions and just kind of gets stuck. Yeah. Um, I think his shield change, being able to move his shield around at a reasonable speed now has made him a lot more viable for sure. Um, definitely, definitely. And his yeah. revive shield to pain in the ass. Yes, yes, he does. He's a proper nuisance. For that expert, I mean, like that's almost where he can beat Lifeline and Gib because yeah. that res is so difficult. Like yeah. you say, all he's got to do is sit in a corner realistically, and he can get it. Yeah. Or and it just moves so easily. And like it's like M and M and K Newcastle as well. They they can spin around so quickly mm. that it's almost impossible to try and get behind them or anything because they just you just constantly face this massive shield in your face. Yeah, and of course the ultimate keeping down. Like if you're in the open, yeah. other sorted. I think he's got to be a. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd I mean, definitely. I think he has to be because I don't. I think he does nudge lifeline and gib. Yep, I would agree. Do. Again, uh, no, his problem got... would be his hitbox. Yes. Yeah. But he negates it better than some of the others do. I think. Definitely, definitely. Uh, next up, we got um, <laughs> the octane. So I octane. love octane so much. Fun legend, like we say, always fun. Uh, great pub legend, not that great and ranked, but I mean, depends how you play. If I mean, this season, you if you're going just for kills and you're confident, you're not gonna get knocked. Good, but we're never gonna see him in comp. No. Um, and I do just think he's just a fun legend, yeah. He, so he, he was my main for a long time, he's my favorite legend to play. Um, I just think he's He's too predictable a lot of the time. He so he obviously his ability to get away is, is good, but him sacrificing mm -hmm. health to do so is, is risky. Yeah. His ult's phenomenal for pushing, but like you are kind of just clay pitch and shooting when he flies through the air. Yeah. Because he's not like even with the new upgrade jumping to the side and stuff, it's not a massive change in direction. So he's no. very easy to track. 
Mm-hmm. It makes him a lot of fun. While being my favourite legend by far, I just he's not what he once was in, in the Revtown Mill. No, no, I I do believe that as well. Um, and the one thing I always just find as well, like if I'm, if I'm playing Pathfinder and I see a, an Octane stemming to get away, I just know as soon as I swing and catch him up, he's got less health. So yeah, I just yeah. know it's an easy kill. Like that's the reason you end up chasing an Octane because you know if you can catch them, it's it's done deal because they've stemmed like three, four times trying to get away from you. Yep, and so many people use him to stem into a fight as well, which while it's very useful, mm, disadvantage you end up straight away though, isn't it? In front of your team, so you're there first, and then you're at a lower health. Yeah. So unless you're super confident and you've got like insane movement, I think it just puts you at a disadvantage while being really fun, not necessarily mm. the most useful. Now that now we've got to decide where we're putting him. Though. I don't want to do this. <laughs> hurt me. I I'm don't looking. think we can sit him any higher than someone like Fuse, for example. No, I think he has to go D. <laughs> I think he does. I think he does. I'm looking at it and I'm going. I yeah. No, I I'm mad about it, but not not because I think you're wrong. Uh, I just yeah. It hurts to say it, mate. But we yeah. gotta let it go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we'll move on to Pathfinder. Uh, so Pathfinder. I mean, obviously, I main Pathfinder, so yeah. I'm gonna be a bit biased. Um, but I really do think Pathfinder has become up the meta a lot more since the upgrades definitely has made him better i mean the 50 percent less damage now on a zip line zen is actually really helpful i really like oh, yeah, that they now. moved it because it was 25 right it was 25 yeah. and it was just pointless and now 50 percent, you're actually there like look we can if we're even putting it in a stupid place just to rotate you're right it's actually worth it because not many people can definitely one clip someone off with that much extra damage to yeah, have to no, do you, that, that's some it's, accuracy um and then obviously with the movement and stuff as well i mean it's just the hitbox unfortunately for him um yeah he is like a flying fridge yeah i mean the zip lines then and all the zip lines in general obviously our team matter but obviously the grapple to start with is a bit more selfish because obviously yeah it is just escapes and that it is, I, um, I also do think he's very good you do it i don't know if you even do it intentionally but you do it very well of pushing a slightly off angle which separates their focus a lot because mm-hmm. you can grapple from where i am pull off to the side so they start to follow you which gives me a chance to, to to heal or or fight back yeah i think oh yeah yeah no. very good at that kind of stuff <clears throat> yeah um i think for that reason i don't i don't think he sits in a as much as i love him to be in a he doesn't deserve to be a i think he deserves a b yeah i i i, really, I can't say too much i'm possibly the worst pathfinder on the planet <laughs> I, I, I just say, feel like yeah, yeah i know you're good I think the only problem I'm finding with him with teammates at the minute is because you get the is the reset on the grapple knock, right? Mm-hmm, yeah. People are playing him like he's Rev. Yeah. And he doesn't necessarily take the survivability that Rev's got. No, no, no. Rev can go, if he gets into a shitty situation, he can just drop an ult and he's, uh, he's, he's vibing, whereas Pathfinder is just huge. <laughs> just goes mm, to death. Yeah. That, that's the one reason I take zip lines then now. I feel yeah. like that actually just uh, gets you more is more beneficial than potentially once in a blue moon I get a knock and then I need to grapple again because sometimes yeah. you get a knock you don't need to grapple. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's just it's almost like just there for the sake of it. And don't get me wrong. You want to like grapple into fights far more than like you might not normally do it. Yeah, and but if, you like, don't even if get I get a knock, knock, I can do it again. <laughs> yeah, but then if I don't even get the knock and my teammate shoots them, then I'm fucked. <laughs> yeah, you're just there. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, no, yeah. yeah, I agree. Um, okay, next up we got Rampart, so, or Sheila. She, she might have been a lot of fun uh, Rampart during the April Fool's event, but I don't think she is reaching the top three. No, personally. she's too hard counted by people like Caustic. She sets yeah. up all these massive things, with her, and you can hear her Sheila going, and then Caustic just throws an ult in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's, it's game over. <laughs> yeah, and then it's over, yeah. She, she's, she's a fun legend to play. I do, I do enjoy her because now and then, you know, you just want to pull out Sheila and just want to blast some people. Yeah, and it yeah, is enjoyable. Yeah. But I don't think we'll be seeing her anytime soon in Pump Meta or, I mean, I hardly see her in rank to be honest. Anyway, yeah, very rarely. Um, I don't know. I feel like I think she highlights herself too much as well because although she when she puts down like the shields and stuff, a barriers. Mm. So we were playing a ranked game last night where I probably wouldn't even notice the team were there if she mm-hmm. hadn't have shielded herself up. So we just threw a load of grenades at them. Yeah, yeah. And it just made her the focus where she didn't need to be. Mm. Yeah, so you, you only really want a rampart is if, like, one, you're in the open, or two, 
you've got high ground position because yeah. then obviously you can just use that for poke the uh the extra damage yeah for sure it does so look it, big i just i don't think just it a bit too situation isn't it yeah, yeah 100%. um i'd look at i don't think she's the same level as ash but i feel like i'd look at d to be honest i'm putting ramble in the same tier of octane but it's my soul <laughs> <laughs> I ain't obtain rampart and metal. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Bounce pad in with Sheila. <laughs> uh, next up, we got Revenant. What's our thoughts on Revenant pre nerf now? Post -nerf. I don't. As much as people are going to probably disagree, I don't think he's an S two legend. I think he sits a little bit lower now. Yeah, I also Just... think that he. He's too easy. Although, if he can get the knocks going, he, he's very difficult to deal with in his ult. Mm -hmm. Outside of his ult, he's not hard to deal with at all. Yeah. He jumps in a straight line. He is huge. And yeah. he's really noisy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, um, I, I've enjoyed playing him, but I do think, yeah, without the conduit on your team, yeah. he, he is a little bit not as useful. when. Like you say, with the ultimate as well, you can blast it off quite quickly. It's huge. It is like, yeah, it's. I've it's... hit some really like shot started. Like you shoot and you're like, I've definitely missed that. And it hits you like, there's mm. there's no way. Just because yeah, the it goes so off big. very quickly, very quickly now. Um, so I I think a yeah personally I I'd think be happy a because he's still good, but he's he's not S anymore. I would have said maybe post nerf, pre nerf. Sorry, yeah, maybe yes still, but not now. Uh, moving forward, we got Seer. What are you saying to Seer? I'm I'm gonna be slightly controversial potentially. I okay. I think he's a lot better than people give him credit for. I I think uh, I haven't played him since the changes. He's I'll, I'll admit it. I think he's now just like so. Go back to where he was like mad broken, mm -hmm. and when he was awful. I think he sits in a nice healthy balance between that now. Um, mm -hmm. he's another legend that if you can play him well, he's got a lot of versatility behind him. Yeah, um, I think people write him off because like he he can be situational at times, mm -hmm. um, and you can't necessarily as freely throw him around as you would like Bloodhound. Yeah, but I don't think he's bad at all. No, no, I don't think he's. I think he's definitely he's definitely better than he used to be. Yeah, like he's That's he's passive, creeping up back up. Sick. Mm, yeah, it's not a lot of like you say he's no he's nowhere near on the same level as Bloodhound, which is why Bloodhound's leap and bounds above. But um. But he's I mean, starting to creep back into the comp scene, and there has been yeah. There's definitely situations where, like, because I I've made both Bloodhound and Seer for things. I just think that sometimes I would have been better off on Seer than I would have been Bloodhound. I just think for ease of use, I take Bloodhound. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I, I don't want to put him like B tier necessarily, but I don't think he's just an instant like bottom of the bottom of the list. I, I you don't want to do B. I'm kind of looking at B maybe. I I was potentially B or C, so. I think it's hard to put him in with someone like Lifeline and Gibby. True. Um, but he's definitely not a D tier legend. No, I think, I think we should C go with C. I think, I, think, I think, yeah, let's go with C. Let's go with C, because I'm sure we're going to probably get a, a B in there. Um, right, let's go next. Valkyrie. So Valk's creeped back up in, like we yeah. mentioned in the upgrade video. Um, she's definitely back in somewhat meta. I think there has been teams that have been using her now. Yeah, a lot more of because it's just such a good rotation in it. Such a good on storm point, she's phenomenal. Mm. But on oh, yeah. world's Esh, less less needed, but still less good. Mm. Um, but I just don't think she's a, like I'd rather take uh, bloodhound bang caustic team. Yeah. Um. Uh, so I feel like, yeah, with the upgrades, it's definitely made her better. Um, Do you need my I... teammates get caught floating around as well? Mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah, that that is very easily done. Yeah, <laughs> it is so often that someone just sits in their jetpack and flies for too long. Yeah, um, it's it's got to be a B or an A in my eyes. I w I wouldn't that... be mad. I don't think I could put her with. Mm, I don't think I could put her A actually. Yeah, I mean, B feels I mean... harsh, but A feels too. I, I don't know. It's odd. Yeah, it'd almost be nice to be a little middle ground. I think on Storm Point A. But even potentially S on Storm Point because her rotations are so good. But beyond that, I just don't think she's needed. Mm. I think I think I think B. Yeah, I'll take B. Just just because those legends, I think, are just going to be more. 
there's going to be more situations where they'll be more viable than a Valkyrie, which yeah. mainly is just for the rotations. Yep. Obviously, the poke is great as well and gaining height, but that's obviously done for yourself. Uh, yeah, I think we stick with that. I think B. Let's go with B. Yeah. Um, the lovely Vantage. Yeah, you can put her in if you want. Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> I hate Vantage. <laughs> I think she's a lot of fun once you get used to it. I just I don't understand why she's got such a big hitbox. She is. She's no got need the for thickest it. thighs. Oh. oh, she's so thick. <laughs> <laughs> nah, she's just so thick. No need for it. I feel like when she like has to rotate and move, like jump, it doesn't. It just feels slow. Like, it doesn't feel like a a quick movement. And then uh, sniping, you, you just you get people that just sit there and snipe all game. And I just no, I don't enjoy her. I don't no. think she's good. Um, and if I ever have advantage on my team, I think we're fucked. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm sorry there to are, say. There it. are a few people I know that play Vantage very well. Um, I just think mm. it's 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 a bit like me playing Octane. I, I'm a good Octane, but like if I was to play someone else, I'd probably just be just as good. I'm just yeah. stuck in the fact that I want to play Octane. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I, yeah, she doesn't so... do anything that anyone else doesn't do better. Yeah, I know Cry Love will be pissed off about that. Yeah, but... Trap's gonna be fuming. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> uh, moving forward, because <laughs> I'm sure we'll have a comment about that then. Uh, we're going to go into Watson. Right, Watson, Watson. I'm she... fighting Yanni over this one. Oh, yeah? Because he put a bottom tier. Oh, yes, yes. Yanni, yeah, did not like... I don't know why, though. Because yeah. Watson is very much around a lot. Yeah, like, especially get... now. I, I get we don't, we don't see her as much with our sort of ranked... Because once again, it's aggression. Not many people are playing, you know, position. That's the yeah. thing. Like, it's hard to judge a legend this season with our ranked experiences because yeah, of yeah. that. But if I'm playing comp, for example, like we mm -hmm. say, Watson is very similar to Caustic, very good yep. at holding down posi positions. But... And I'd say holding wise for positionally, I think she's better than, than Caustic. Mm. Oh, yeah. Cause she just doesn't have down. the aggressive side of it that's it that's it in it yeah no she can't be aggressive with her you can't just run with a pylon yeah <laughs> it's not gonna work <laughs> if it could that'd be great but yeah i think the problem is like the, the argument to be made that when she doesn't have her ult she's not as useful but mm -hmm. if you're running a watson on your team you should be feeding them ultimate cells anyway yeah and with the hill that you get from the the pylon and the silent res next to the the, the, the pylon the ult I think she's she's very good. Mm -hmm. I think she takes skill to play. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. If you you're not good at your uh, fence placement, yeah. Like I have times where I rush it. I think she's definitely. I I know there's some, some very good Watson players on M and K and controller. Yeah. Sorry, but for, I think M and K it's easier to yeah. know where you're placing it 100 yep. percent because I so put my like shit ones down all the time. Yeah, and you've also got to be able to do it mid fight as well. Like constantly mm. keeping it up time and like if someone's pushing or a grenade catches the edge of your thing, you've got to be able to pull away at the right time, reset it, and yeah. just try and keep it up and use it. Yeah. You almost want to be a high sense player, really. Yeah. Uh but yeah, I think A. Yeah, I'm i I'm down to put a high. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, sorry, Johnny. <laughs> <It's fuming. laughs> uh and then last but not least, we've got Rafe. Obviously I like Rafe. She's like my highest kill legend. She's 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 actually in a few comp teams, isn't she? Yeah, she's she's been popping up. She's been popping up. Um, I is, die a lot the, of Wraith for some unknown the, reason. The the problem is I, I which I find with myself as well is when you play as a Wraith, you tend to put yourself in a lot of silly positions, <laughs> and because they've also changed now, the fact that you know you it takes even longer now for that phase up again. Yeah. Um, that's obviously not helped her because you now makes it more risky to take those kind of situations. Yeah. Um, but her ultimate is obviously very good with obviously rotating teams, whether that's, you know, in zone, for example, because a lot of us really appreciate her having a Wraith when you're in zone potentially in a heat shield, send off Wraith and a Paw, yeah. you can just heal up and wait. Um, or making that last minute call to get a, a building when there's like maybe no buildings free and you think, oh, I can take the bottom of that one if we Wraith Portal into it, sorted. Uh, but the definitely, I mean, she's got Dog as passives. Her passives crap. I mean, yeah, yeah. I, you get told someone's looking at you, but I mean, nine times out of ten, they start shooting you anyway. Yeah, that's so. the last <laughs> time that happened to me is that someone's looking at you and I got craved in the skull. Yeah, so it didn't it, make it, a difference. 
it doesn't <laughs> make a difference. No, it doesn't. And the uh, the phase is great, but it's I think you need to get out escape. from behind cover. Really, just to like, escape out. Yeah, it's not a panic button anymore. No, no, you have to be sensible with it. Yeah. Um, I would look at because she's in creeping up into the comp scene potentially B. Yeah, like I said, I'm I'm an awful right, so it's hard for me to say for sure. Um, just think because she's starting to creep in a little bit more. Yeah. That's the only reason I and think her hitbox is tiny. She's so yeah, hard well, to yeah, hit. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, and the bad fact is obviously it used to be even smaller, which is crazy. Yeah. Um, but that's why obviously everyone used to play Rafe. Yeah, just <laughs> for the not, tiny not hitbox. But that's our that's our tier list. What do you reckon? Uh, yeah, I don't think I'm, I'm mad. I'm, 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 I'm pretty happy scanning yeah. over it. Um, scanning over it. You know, we. I'm, I'm I'm happy. To be honest, we've got we've got one in every. Yeah. I, I don't think there's anyone I'd change, personally. I think there's, there's arguments we made for, like, up or down for maybe A or B, um, but I think they're mm -hmm. all very situational. Yeah. I don't think this is objectively wrong at any point at all. I just think it's, in some situations, one's better than the other. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I think we're done there, guys. All right, perfect. Another tier list video done, guys. Um, if you have enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that like button. Comment down below if you would change anything, if you think we're idiots and you want to slander us or in any way. That's cool. Octane um, for us. Yeah, <laughs> Octane mains come for us. Um, or Vantage mains. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah. Um, subscribe. And um, Jordan's links will all be in the comments down uh, or in the description down below. Have you got anything to say, Jordan? No, just, just, uh, yeah. Please don't, please don't hate me too much for this. <laughs> I've tried to be nice. <laughs> Perfect. Right, we'll see you all in the next video. Peace. <laughs>